Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm doing another Marks and Spencers haul. I've bought a few different items today and hopefully I will have a clip showing me shop around Marks and Spencers. Unfortunately my battery went before I managed to finish the shop but I will put timestamps down below so if you don't want to see me shopping you can go straight on to see what we've um, bought this week. But a couple of weeks ago I did a shop with me with my daughter and I have a couple of other shop with me's in um, Marks and Spencers and Tesco's and they seem to be very popular so if you do like me taking you along with me then please leave me a comment down below and then I'll try and um, take you to the shop with me again um, and I just want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and new and people that have been subscribed for ages I've just recently got to 3,000 subscribers and I want to say a big massive thank you because I couldn't do it without all you guys um, so I'm going to put the clips in now and then I'm going to show you what I've got this week.
this is quite a big shop this week um yeah so this is for a week and if you are new here i'm predominantly plant-based so a lot of the items is from my family i've split up the meat here all of the fruit and veg um, and different bits and bobs down there so i'll start over here i've got um three oat milks a soya milk and the coconut milk so these are for porridge in the morning and for my um, lattes as well i bought these a couple of weeks ago and they them um, Ryan and Nathan really love them, but they sold out last week, so I managed to get hold of them again. These, these are three pounds. Got British salted butter and roasted red pepper hummus. They didn't have any just like plain one this week. Sorry, I just asked to press pause because the children were coming in. Um, yeah, so they didn't have any plain, so I just got the roasted red pepper hummus. I've got some breaded haddock, um, there's five, no, there's six in there, and then we've got some diced lamb, and then they've got this three, four, ten um, on mix and match different meats. So I've got classic steak um, for chicken burgers, and then the southern fried drumsticks. I got some of this, um, still Scottish mountain water, um, this is just plain, and then I got this sparkling one, because I've got some lemon and lime, so I thought I could squeeze that in, and then I've just got some more waters at the back. Super sweet sweet corn, which is frozen, and an organic British mature cheddar. The kids really like having that in an omelette. So I've got 30 eggs. Um, like I was saying, Ryan and the kids like to have omelettes most um, lunch times. And um, they used to, if you've been on my channel before, you'll see that. I used to buy like six boxes of six, but they've started doing these 15 again, and these are two pounds. I've got two bags of British oats. Um, because that's what the kids like having for breakfast. And usually with berries, I've got blueberries and black forest selection one there. They've got really nice cherries in there. I've got some walnuts. I'm going to try and make some walnut milk. I've tried it before and it didn't come out right. But I'm going to try it again. Butternut squash for a curry. And then I got these organic dates. I do love dates, but I've not had them for a while. But Jay, from Just JJ, she um, said that if I'm feeling a bit peckish before dinner, like a couple of these with a cup of tea can really like help you, you know, to not go and reach for something a little bit naughty. So I got these. And then I got the prunes as well, because I do like them. Um, these are mangoes, so I'm going to maybe make a... Um, I'm making a coconut curry with the butternut squash and also cauliflower and I want to put some mango in. Um, they had this cauliflower and it was reduced. I'm going to make that tomorrow. So this was only 65p. This was um, 85p in the clip. If I've inserted it, you should have seen me picking these up. So they have special offers on 85p for different items each week. They swap things around. So I got two of these because the kids will just love them. They really like kiwis. I've got British cherry tomatoes, red onions. These are from the Isle of Wight. So I live on the Isle of Man, so the Isle of Wight is further down. Um, but these should have been £2 and they were redu reduced to 72 P. So I think the kids will really love that. So Ryan's just making... Um, it doesn't look like dead amazing, but it tastes amazing. It's not that he's made it. It's not that why I'm saying it doesn't look dead appealing, but that's what lentils are like, like even when I make them. And we've got some rice. So I'm going to chop up some of these tomatoes. Um, if you want to see um, meal ideas, I have got um, like a food and cooking playlist and also what's for dinner. I will leave that up above. It's when I did it with Crystal Evans. She's got an awesome channel where she does a lot of what's for dinner and she's based in America. Um, I've got some King Edward potatoes and then I've got some pineapples. One pineapple, sorry. And I've got a cucumber. These were in the um, the 85p offer. Um, honey drop tomatoes. They're like an orange colour. So I think the kids will really love them. There's the other kiwis. Baby leaf salad and celery sticks. So these should have been £1.25 and it was reduced to um, 47p. They had a lot of sale items because I went in quite late. There's my lemon and limes. And then I got these. I was supposed to get a spring onion, but I picked up the wrong one. I've got two chives. Um, I think these were only um, like one pound, um, I think. So we're going to um, replant these in the garden so then we can keep using them. Um, and then it's just some easy peelers there. I've got some ginger 
and then this is one of these pots and I cooked with one of these in the video the what's for dinner collab like I was saying with Crystal Evans um, they're really really nice and they have recipes underneath the label as well they've got all different types of ones and the two pound for a pot I've got white spelt flour because I plan on making some spaghetti and doing it in my Omega it's got like a spaghetti attachment we have got a video where we made spinach pasta before Ryan made it again I'll link that above if you want to check it out it's just spinach and flour and that's it you don't even need to put water in and it's really easy to make you don't even need an Omega for that you can just roll it in your hands um, this is apple cider vinegar raw. I really, really love this. It contains the mother and it's unpasteurized and unfiltered. Got lots of health benefits. So um, we just like putting this over salads. Sometimes Ryan has that in the morning, a little bit with um, warm water. Coconut cream for the um, curry. And then I've got two coconut milks, four Italian chopped tomatoes, mushy peas for the um, fish and chips. And then this, is from um Mars and Spencer's as well it is jackfruit um organic jackfruit so I've got some barbecue sauce I wanted to try and make my my own barbecue sauce but if it doesn't come out right I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna kind of like marinate it or something and make like a pulled jackfruit like um what's it called now just one second I've got these in the freezer so the avocado dough buns and I bought them the other week and I talked about these they're like a vegan brioche so I want to make like a pulled like jackfruit burger and put them on these buns with some fries so if I've done that I will take a picture of it and show you so because I love some more burger buns left I decided to buy these no beef beef burgers I'll have one this week and then put the other one in the freezer I really love this soya bolognese, so if the spaghetti goes right, I'll be having this with it, which is, yeah, so it's the soya bolognese. Um, egg noodles for the family, and then I've got the, why did I get a dishwasher rinse? I wondered why it was expensive. I wanted to buy a washing up liquid and I was just running um, to get it um, when I was just leaving the store. So I don't have a dishwasher, unfortunately, so I won't be able to use that. Um, I got another um, two tomato soups for Caleb and um, uh, yeah, chicken soup and tomato soup for Neva um, because they really like the soups. Cavolo Nero kale, I really like steaming this. And then I think I said we've got carrots as well. I feel like I'm all over the place today, I'm so sorry. Um, Italian, chop, Italian cooking mozzarella, so that's for pizza again. I'll put a picture here. Um, every week now I make a... Um, pizza and like homemade fries and salad for the kids and Ryan and then I've got nappies there and these I don't know if you've ever had these before these are blue corn tortilla chips and they're lightly salted vegan and gluten free um, uh, you can't really see here but they look like a purple color the fries and two loaves of bread soft super soft bread these were only 65p then oh, the last thing that i've got the last thing that i've got are some hazelnuts because again i want to try and make my own hazelnut milk and then i got this from the by the way them nuts are from top banana these are from there as well spelt noodles for stir fry so i'm excited to try these and then i got some Chinese five spice so you put everything in yourself in the bags and this is biodegradable so you might be thinking why are you buying all this spelt when I have wheat I really blow up I don't I've never been tested for an intolerance or anything like that but I really really blow up so I wanted to try a different grain and spelt is a more ancient grain and apparently it's more digestible so I'm giving it a go and then I got these spelt flakes 100 percent spelt I have made these myself before, but oh my gosh, it's so time consuming. Can you see how skinny they are? So I bought a box of these, so I'll be having these with like chopped banana, bitter, um, oat milk or coconut milk. But I've had them before and they're really nice. You can get ones with honey on top as well. And ones which are like 
do you know what they're called sugar puffs yeah they, they do kind of sugar puff ones as well but you can get these from tesco's and sainsbury's and different supermarkets because when i was living in england i used to buy them so yeah so this is all of my um shopping haul okay so i really hope that you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here i would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel for more i will put a playlist at the end of here as well of other shop with me's if you want to check them out thanks for watching see you next time bye